Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. I've been trying to do some more videos recently so you'll be seeing more going up on my channel. And today I'm going to do a shoe haul for you. This is from a recent uh, trip that I took to Style Encore. If you're not familiar with what Style Encore is, it is uh, similar to Playos Closet. It's basically a sister store but for more grown-up career woman type of clothing. Um, so they sell a lot of different brands but they sell a lot of um, brands that just sell better on on eBay and Poshmark than the younger brands that like Playhouse Closet sells. So um, I recently went there and I purchased quite a few items for 90% off and today I'm just going to show you the shoe haul that I of items that I purchased. So um, I don't have too many pairs but I do want to talk to you about each one and I'll give you an estimation of what I'm going to put them up for. Um, for sale online and just talk to you about them and what I paid for them so that you can see these are brands that um, I enjoy buying I don't buy a lot of shoes so this is a little bit of an experiment but um, I'm excited and hopefully these will all give me some good profit so the first pair is um, a pair of lucky brand um, these are sandals obviously these are like a, I'm terrible with types of shoes they're like a wedge um, they originally had them priced for $12, which I think is pretty cheap for Lucky Brand. Um, and there's a few flaws in the feet. You can see there, it needs to be cleaned well. It really looks like they maybe been worn a couple times. The bottoms are pretty clean, um, not too bad. And then they were 90% off, so I only paid $1.20 for these. And I know it's out of season, but they're pretty cool. Um, they're like a taupe, taupey color. And then they have this awesome neon green. So. Um, I'm going to try to sell them for at least $25, and I'll probably list these on Poshmark. I'll list them both places, but I personally like Poshmark um, better for certain brands. Um, this is another pair of sandals, and obviously a lot of this is our sandals, so they're items that are um, kind of out of season right now, but you never know. I still list items that are out of season. Um, if I find something I like, I'll buy it, and... I'll put it up for sale. So maybe I'll keep them till next summer. Maybe not. We'll see. These are Steve Madden sandals. Um, these are another what we consider like a wedge. They're cool. They're like laced up black. And they're actually Steven by Steve Madden. I don't know if that is like a better Steve Madden, you know, um, line or anything. I'll have to look them up. But I would assume I should be able to sell these for at least 20 They were priced there at Playos or at Style Encore for $20, so I only paid $2 for them. And these actually, I think, would fit me. So if I did want to wear them, they're cute. They're like a peep toe. They're really adorable. They didn't have a ton for shoes, but um, I looked through it, and I found a few items I liked. The next pair are these. These are uh, Barney's New York, so I assume these are something that are sold at, like, Barney's or something. Um... Barney's New York sandals. They do say on the bottom of them Vero Cloyo or something like that. I don't know how to say it. Um, they obviously have been worn a few times, but they're really in good condition. They're in size nine and a half. If you look, they're you know they look like they've been worn a couple times, but really overall, like the fabric, it feels really nice. It's like a suede. And these were priced at thirty two, so this must be a nicer brand. Um, and again, they're like a wedge, and so I paid uh, $3.20 for them. They're cute. I like them. Um, I don't really wear much for heels, but I did buy them, you know, so to resell. So hopefully I can get at least 30 out of those. I'll have to look them up, though. These I thought were super cute. They're really high. Um, they're really high. They are Steve Madden. And they're like a really tall, I think they're size like six, they're size six, um, and then they lace up your leg and around your leg, I guess, so that's why I got them, because I thought they were so cool. I'll probably have to try to put them on my feet, to, or maybe I'll be able to find this uh, picture for like, um, for Poshmark. They really don't look like they've been worn much at all. Honestly, maybe worn around the house, maybe worn once. They're in really good condition. 
I only paid a dollar seventy for them. I thought they were just like cool and eclectic and just like kind of like a really uh, neat, uh, very tall high heel. So I'll try to get at least thirty for those probably. Now these were just basically I just threw them in because I thought they were cute boots and I recently purchased um, leather cleaner and these are pretty rough I'll have to admit if they were my size I probably would keep them because they are actually really cute they actually don't look like they've been worn very much they have a really interesting bottom um, they're actually you can see them they have lots of scratches but I have leather cleaner and I'm definitely gonna try to clean that up um, and they're the brand Boren they were asking $34, so I paid $3.40 for them. Overall, the bottoms are a strange texture, but really they don't look worn too much. I'll clean them up a little bit. Um, I think they got all those scratches on them, honestly, because they just throw the clearance bins, uh, the clearance shoes in bins, and they get all scratched by the other shoes. So, But it's boot season, and I think the Born brand is a really nice brand. Um, so I'm going to clean these up and see. I might be able, if they look really awesome, I might be able to get like 40 bucks out of them. So Now the last pair is a brand I don't think I've ever found, at least not to actually purchase. I think I've seen it, but I've never bought it because it's always way too expensive. Um, and these are a pair of high heels. Let's see if I can... They're a sandal. They're a size seven and a half. And they have been worn some, you can tell. And they do have a chip. And, but I'm still going to see if I can sell them. Um, apparently Playo's Closet thought they could, but they had a hard time. Probably because they were asking such a high amount. They were asking $48 for these. And that's just ridiculous for a pair of shoes with a flaw. That's just ridiculous. Um, these are, you might recognize that. They are like a wooden sandal. And you see there's like a chip right here. I wondered if I could fill that in with like wood filler. I don't know. That might be weird. Um, obviously someone was wearing them and they like hit a curb or something. So there is a chip out of them. Um, but these are Fry, F-R-Y-E, um, retail, I don't know how much these would be, but I know that Fry stuff is really expensive. Um, I'm going to put them on Poshmark, and I'm going to see if I can find any comps for these sandals and ones similar. I did pay $4.80 for these, and I'm sure that if these don't sell, um, I'll at least, for the price I originally asked, they'll at least sell for 5 bucks. so I'll get my money back. But I had to take a chance because I knew that these can be worth a lot. Even if I only make like 10 bucks on them, that's still profit, right? So, yeah. They're like this wooden heel sandal. Um, they're cool. They're cool. It's too bad that um, they got that chip out of them. That's why they couldn't sell them because these are pretty awesome shoes. But, yeah. And they're a size 7.5, which is my size. <laughs> but I don't wear heels that tall. So that is my uh, shoe haul from Style Encore. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be able to show you some solds soon of these shoes. Um, if not, probably next summer uh, when they're in season. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope you come back again and click the bell if you want to get notification when I upload new videos. Like this video if you like videos like this so I know to keep making them. And have a great day. Bye.